walking path and three feet trip. You're gonna get a lap taller than you would have, and you can still see those water lines along the side of the rock. Now that is still what it looks like behind our super cool five foot pin bull pit. Now right now behind this wall, we have 4.59 feet of water to go back to that full 4.2 miles. It's quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> all right, so now that we're all I do want us to understand the historic significance of where we are right now. Now I'm going to tell you guys one of my absolute favorite stories that happened in this park. Now back then, people were very superstitious about women being allowed in any mining projects at any time. It's God and bad luck. We had a teacher who lived here in Idaho Springs, but she taught full of Central Blue. Her name was Beatrice Schuler. Now she had taught her children to belong to all of these workers. Therefore, they allowed her to come into the tunnel, buy a work part, where they would take her all the way to Central City, hoist her up in their elevator, she would do her teaching for the day, then they would lower her back down and into Idaho Springs, where she continued to live for the next several years. Now, one day, the school was having a play, so she was dressed up really nice and really fancy. I'm talking big dress. So she hops in this work cart, she's headed to Central City. Now, she's about to get into the bucket when the men tell her to stop. Now, they have a flat platform for her to stand on. Because she just looks too nice to get into the bucket. Aw. So she hops up on this platform and they start raising her up. She hits a thousand feet. And all of a sudden, her dress catches on a nail. Yep. Now, this nail shredded her dress. Absolutely destroyed it. However, had that dress not ripped, she would have been pulled down that thousand foot shaft. The only thing that actually kept her on this platform was pure balance, because of course it did start to sway. Now the men, they had no idea, so they just kept going. Mm -hmm. So eventually she does reach the top. She was on her way to the schoolhouse, when nobody cared that she had just experienced something pretty traumatic. Yeah. They told her to go find some of the moms from camp, borrow one of her dresses, so that she could even go to work that day. Yeah, social so cues, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, do I have anyone in here with me today? Between the ages of seven and twelve. Come on up, guys. All right. So now, girls on this side, boys on this side. How old are you guys? I'm eight. You're eight. Yeah. You're eight. And how old are you? Close enough. Pop right here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Now, schooling then was a little bit different from how we have it now. Back then, you would go to school during the summer, and the rest of the year was to work. For example, this is where my boys are going to be working as my dude monkeys. <laughs> okay? You guys see that hole that's right up there? Yep. Yep. So your job is to climb up to that, fill it with plastic powder, shove a piece of dynamite in there, light the fuse, and take off running as fast as you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you guys fast runners? No, no, no. Now, we kids were used for this job because as you're doing your major blasting, you're creating all these super dangerous crevices on top that are later going to be really bad. The only thing small enough and fast enough to get up there and take care of it is you guys. Oh, oh great. Right now. Yeah, you guys are there. Now, you guys have had jobs too. Just because you weren't allowed to come inside the tunnel does not mean you didn't work for it. Now, your job is to be the dynamite warmer for the fuse line. Okay. Now, if that dynamite is too cold, it won't go off right away. If that dynamite is too warm, it goes off too fast. So, your job is to heat their dynamite to the perfect temperature so that nothing bad happens to them. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> All right. You guys can go back now. Thank you. Oh, no, just kidding. Now, no, we've only ever had two famous deaths of a bird in this tunnel. 
The first one was that 1943 flood. The four men that were back there doing that blasting, they did pass away. And then in 1902, we had a premature blast go off during construction, and that killed uh, four men. Okay. Yes. I'm dead. All right, you guys. So here's the plan. We're going to head back to that white building. We're going to drop off these hard hats. We're going to hang out for two seconds until everyone's done, and then we'll head to the mill together, okay? All right, here we go. I'm not allowed to go in any of the bills that do after that hex, because I'm the measure ship. It's mostly because they're an asbestos and arsenic. I mean, some of that. Yeah, but it's a little bit more contained. Yeah, so a few feet in behind concrete, and it's still looking. What's your highest chemical contaminant in the water? Yep.
you guys. Now this is my Arashtra Crusher. Now when you took a look inside of here, you did see some hooks, right? Yes. Now those hooks would have held massive weights. They would have dragged along the bottom and crushed all of this rock down into a super fine sand, okay? Now after you get sand, you're gonna use this little spout to feed in some water and a little bit of mercury, which we all know is very healthy. Now, you're just gonna mix all of that into what we call a slurry, which is gonna be about the consistency of a pancake mix to give you a good idea. Yeah. Now, after you make your toxic rock pudding, you're gonna put that in the bucket and bring it right over here. I'm gonna squeeze through real fast. Yeah, it's not my schedule. I want you guys to get into the area where you have a good view of the little panel. I don't have a stuff in it. So were they holding on to their right. retorts? Thank you. Thank you. Here, come over here so you can get out of What did you call it again? The retort stick. The retort? The retort, yep. The retort. Well, I'll help with that get while that was going through the uh, oh, vaporization process. It would be starting to change colors. You start to see that orange in there. All righty, guys. So,
So these women were collecting their own stashes of gold that their husbands didn't know about. Girl power. Yeah. And this went on for a while. Until one day, one of the miners came home, found his wife's stash, ruined it for everyone. Hello, flotation stops. Yes. Now the miners go back to take home their clothes and wash them there. No one was stripping in the mill. But basically, you're going to take all of the waste rock from amalgamation, and you are going to plop that into flotation. Now, anything that mercury didn't catch, the pine oil is then going to come through and kind of act as like that last resort. Yes. Now, do you guys see these like sticks that are kind of popping down in there? That's going to spin, and it's going to cause all of that rock to agitate. Now, the gold is going to come out from the top and stick to it, and that waste rock is going to float right back down to the bottom. And that was really easy. For us to come through and just scrape that right off. Yes. Now, right over here, you're going to see this tank. Now, this is where we were combining pine oil with a bunch of other chemicals to find that perfect solution to extract the most amount of gold possible. Now, there's coins in there. Some kids throw them in there, and I don't know why. <laughs> now, this belt right here is an original one that was used here. If you guys want, you can touch it. Just please don't fall on it. It's not super heavy duty material. I would have to go down there and get it. Don't do it. It's this? Yeah. Yourself. 
while staying up there yeah. Yeah. wasn't good. Oh, hope you didn't die. Hope you didn't die. Hope you didn't die. Good. Missed a step. Sorry, trying to type and walk well, not a good thing. Just don't leave me up here. Yeah, that'll be all right. <coughs> they got another one coming through in an hour. <laughs> oh, are you one of the trainers? I'm. I'm in training. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to take notes. That's a lot to remember. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But it's not that. We're also seeing it like walking around through it. It's easier. Yeah.
right there in the corner. Yeah, this was the original designer. You guys should watch the Fantasco. I'm the comment. Yeah, I want to talk to you guys for fine. I want to talk to you guys for fine.